Nobody cares about us. And brothers and sisters, if you want to know how weak we are, and we are weak, look at how we are treated. Last month, the world met in New York. The General Assembly. When African heads of states and government are speaking, the hall is empty. Nobody bothers because they are saying nothing. Even if they are saying something, it is something that can be ignored. Compare when an African head of state and government is speaking and when the Prime Minister of Little Israel is speaking. They will listen because we are weak and disunited. So we have a weak continent because the spirit of Pan-Africanism disappeared. So the question that we can ask, what is the state of Pan-Africanism as we speak today? The African Union, which is weak, says the right things and does the wrong things nine out of ten times. And what are the critical areas in which we are weak? We are weak politically. Because nobody listens to us. We are not trading with one another. Intra-African trade is not anything beyond 15%, the lowest anywhere in the world. If you look at all our sectors and look at them, look at our agriculture, almost all African countries are net food importers. There is not a single African country that is in meaningful technology. Not a single African country produces a mobile phone. Yet the single most important ingredient in mobile telephony is to be found in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Not a single African country produces a car other than assembling completely knockdown kits. There is no meaningful production of pharmaceutical products in Africa. And if there was any doubt, COVID exposed it. All African countries, the 55 of them, are waiting to either receive Sinovac from China, Sputnik from Russia, AstraZeneca, Johnson or Moderna. And we don't even know what they are because our bureaus of standardization don't know. If you ask the Ethiopian Bureau of Standards, what they are asking us to be injected with, they do not know. They just believe it is a vaccine because the Americans have said so or because the Chinese have said so. Africa is weak so that even this magnificent edifice, I suspect, has not been erected by Ethiopian engineers. When I see the signage in Chinese, I suspect it is the Chinese. That is how weak we are. That is the reality of our mother continent. It is because we are politically weak, we are economically weak, socially we are disorganized, Culturally and spiritually, we are confused. That is the continent in which we are today. We unite or we perish.
that as I travel along across the world, people do not care about our Tanzanianness or our Ghanaianness or our Kenyanness or our Ethiopianness. In their eyes, we are all Africans. And perhaps that is what we should use as the building block in order to talk about African unity. But we are not being naive about that unity. Because sometimes when we talk about pan-Africanism and about African unity, people think we are being too simplistic about it. No, it is not being simplistic and being naive. It is recognizing that as long as we remain the way we are, then Africa in the next 25 years will be recolonized. Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want more candid speeches like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.